Good morning! Actually, good afternoon. It's like 12.45. I'm so excited to vlog this weekend because I'm going on so many photo shoots. By so many, I mean three, but that's like a lot for me because I do not go on photo shoots that often. So this will be like a weekend in New York City as an NYU student. Mm. I do sound nasally because I'm recovering from a cold. I did get tested and I am positive, so don't worry. I meant to say negative. I don't know why I said positive. Today, Amanda and I are heading out to Central Park, and Amanda is my friend that moved to New York from Los Angeles with me, essentially, and I've known her since, like, middle school. She is a photography major at Parsons, and I have a brand deal with an insane brand. Like, I, it's crazy. I'm working with Gucci. Actually, okay, let's not say Gucci. I'm working with Gucci fragrances, which is a little bit more different, but still freaking insane. Um, and so we are headed out to Central Park to, you know, take photos of their new fragrance. Amanda just texted me saying that she's leaving her dorm. I'm going to do the same as well, and we are going to this really cute cafe called Blue Stripes Cacao. I was literally there yesterday for like two and a half hours. Oh my god, there's so many things I need to update you on, like, there's just so many things I've been doing. Basically, I have this no homework or no studying in my dorm or like in my room policy because I'm trying to make my dorm a more of like a relaxing spot rather than like one that's filled with stress and anxiety. Like... Hello? what I've been doing for like the past week when I have homework is I just go cafe hopping I go from cafe to cafe and I sit down I do homework I order then I get up and go to another one and that's literally what I did yesterday and I went to this place called blue stripes cacao and I had this amazing croissant sandwich and this amazing cup of coffee so now I want to go back and get that for breakfast before our photo shoot because it was so good but um yeah it also looks like I have lip injections mm. I swear it's just my lip gloss. This lip gloss is my holy grail. It's the Rare Beauty one in Nearly Rose. I will link it down below because it's literally amazing. In fact, I need to bring it with me. I'm at the cafe I was talking about and I ordered my croissant sandwich and my coffee. Amanda's supposed to meet me here in like two minutes. I don't know if we're eating here or we're taking it to go, so. Here's our coffees. <laughs> <You're awesome. laughs> I posted this on my private story, so I'm gonna go Spider Man dab. I was like, uh huh. <laughs> I love Spider Man. We just got off the subway and we are at Central Park. We're trying to find like a, a bridge. I'm trying to find like a cute place that we can take these photos I feel at. Like it's not this way because this is like civilization and we want to get into like Okay, so we can cross the street or like we can go that way. <laughs> cross the park. Yeah. We're trying to set up the camera right now. We also have not found a location. I had to switch to my phone because my camera is about to die. Can you, is it take it offable? <laughs> I just took it off, so. This is like our first spot, the bridge. There's a bridge right there. Our wonderful photographer. And yeah, we're just gonna take some right here for now. Uh, shooting and stuff and uh, this is um, the perfume oh. that we be shooting oh Jesus <gasps> the amount of times I've fallen we're is currently ridiculous. waiting for the Sun yeah the Sun is covered up by a fucking cloud so until we get that we're just wasting oh, time the sun's oh my god what <laughs> with the Sun one second hey Upper East Siders that's <laughs> girl here um, one and only we source in the scandalous lives of Manhattan's elite what time is it I want to say it's like 2 30 or like maybe three. 307. Okay, so we like pretty much wrapped up shooting. We took so many photos that like, I feel like if we just keep taking more, we're gonna get overwhelmed and not be able to pick through them. Yeah, we just wrapped up like digital and then I think we're gonna get a couple film shots. The plan for later today is, so we're gonna go back to Union Square, split up. She's gonna get her laptop. I'm gonna get my like homework stuff. So we're gonna meet back up, do work, 
and then from then we'll just go on. What I've learned in New York City is that you do not plan your schedule. It's more of just like you take it day by day, you take it hour by hour, whatever happens, happens. Because you can't pre-plan in New York because new stuff always pops up. You don't want to give a commitment and then not hold up to it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, bye. What has been up? It is 5.30. I got home from Central Park and like my photo shoot and basically since I've been home I've just I changed into like something more comfortable um, I did my emails you know like boring stuff now I'm going to do a little bit of homework because I just want to get it out of the way maybe do something fun tonight I don't know I'm eating some banana pudding this is like leftover from yesterday from like the cafes that I went to this is one of the things that I got lovely situation right now here's a difference between high school and college that i haven't heard anyone like talk about most lectures at least in my school like this is my case i don't know how it is for other schools most of my classes whether it's online or in person the lectures are recorded and they're posted online there are days where you literally can't go to class or like you just can't function and you you can't pay attention and you're just not having it and you don't want to go to class but you also don't want to miss out on that information so that's why I love that they all record it and they all post it because back in high school, if you like missed a day of school, it was hell. Missing a day would be like missing a fucking week. Missing school was more stressful than being at school sick, if that makes sense. I'm not saying like, oh, skip on all your classes and just watch the, the recordings because like if you do that, then you won't be able to participate and like join the discussion. But you know, we're all human. We all have those days where we literally can't do it. And that's why college is great. The plan for tomorrow is, so this photographer DM'd me and like I might go on a shoot with him, but he's being very vague and like not really responding or like, I don't even know. It's it's like quite up in the air. So I don't know if the morning photo shoot's gonna happen, but then at 3.30, I am shooting with this brand called The Happy Camper and I absolutely love their freaking clothes and their like whole mission. I'm gonna go do work because I cannot keep procrastinating and I'm gonna go over to the lounge because like I said, I have a no homework and no studying policy in my dorm. Let's go do that. I'm in the lounge right now and there's literally no one here because it's Saturday, 7 p.m. People are out and I'm here doing fucking homework. <laughs> in my dorm i literally was in the lounge for 20 maybe 25 minutes um i mean i finished one of my assignments which i'm happy about but um i was there and no one was there like this one girl was um and i was like what am i doing here no it is saturday night why are you studying although like nothing starts right now like people aren't even getting dinner at this hour because you get dinner at like 9 and you stay there till like 11 and then you go out that's been my experience so far i don't know if like it's like that normally so no one's even doing anything right now or like maybe they are and i just don't have friends very very possible we don't know that's like one of the things about college um it's very easy to compare yourself to the other students because you're gonna see that some people are going out like every single night and they're like hanging out in these big friend groups i find myself comparing myself to those people and i'm like damn i don't really have anything like planned but i'm just gonna get ready because that's what I do when I don't have plans. I just get ready and then, you know, it, it eventually happens. You eventually end up going out. That's what happened last night. We got ready, we got dinner, and then we got invited to a party and we went. Like, that's usually how it goes. But I did get a package from the crypt and I wanna show you guys what I got. So like, mini haul time. I got this like off-white corset type top and I really, really like it. It's like perfect and it's so soft. And then I got this black halter situation. Two buttons and then it's like open like that and it looks super cute on. This like black turtleneck situation with the holes on the arms. I didn't really know how I felt about this and I posted it like on my private story and on my TikTok. Majority of people said keep it and I kind of liked it and I feel like I could do something cool with it And it also could like spice up a really basic outfit because like of that detail um, So I just kept it. It's like this really cute white leather mini bag. I love it. It's like very um, Grungy if that makes sense. I just I really liked it, but my dumb ass 
I don't know how I did this, but I ordered it twice. I'm gonna get ready because, because. My makeup's already done though. I'm just gonna keep the same makeup from earlier today because I am not redoing that. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. With my, with my new bag, of course, the new bag. Our plan is to get dinner somewhere with my friend Zoe and then um, just walk around, explore, you know? Earlier today I was talking about how I don't really have an activity in mind that like I wanna do, but when you think about it, this is a new city that I have never lived in. There are so many things to do, like so many places to explore. I retract my statement and instead I'm going out. Also, my roommates are never home. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they're literally never here. So, I guess I technically kind of live alone, which isn't bad. That's what the view looks like at night. It's beautiful. I left my camera home because my bag didn't fit my camera, but Zoe and I went to this, or like we're at this Mexican restaurant and we're in some tacos. Tacos. Walk. Other sauce. Tacos. Zoe. New York. Food. Okay, we're gonna munch. Bye. Yeah. So we got pink berry. I would just like to point out how confused I am by New York parking because, like, I understand that this is a bike lane, but they're just in the middle of the street, and this is normal. Hello. <laughs> Rundown of last night. So I think the last thing you guys saw was me complaining, or not complaining, but talking to you guys about New York City parking. Well, after that, Zoe and I, we just went out, we hung out with some of our friends, and we had actually a quite a wonderful time. We got home pretty late, I wanna say like, actually I don't wanna say because my parents watch these videos. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Like it was, it was like an, it was like an okay time to return. You know, like I feel like that's an okay time to return. <laughs> I went to bed. It was 3 a.m. You know, I woke up at like 11 or like 10:30. I need to shower, and I have not eaten breakfast. I was supposed to get brunch with Amanda because we were gonna go through the photos that we took yesterday. Homegirl did not answer her phone, even though she was the one who made the fucking plan for brunch. So Amanda. What the hell, babes? Anyway, I'm gonna go shower and like, there's a banana on my fridge which I'm gonna eat. I have to get ready for a shoot that's at 3.30 and um, there's no hair and makeup so I kind of have to like do it on my own which is fine cause like it's gonna be very natural. I just have no idea what to wear. Since moving to New York, here's what I'll say. I realize that I don't like my style and that I really want to change it and I don't know how to do that, so yeah. We're gonna be experimenting a little bit, so if you guys see some like weird ass outfits and you're like, what the fuck are you wearing now? This is why. Okay, now I'm gonna go shower. Bye. Also, here's a little morning view. Wonderful. What are people down there doing? There is no people down there. I'm ready. It's been an hour, I think. Um, it's 1.21 right now. Uh, it took a little long and I I'm sorry about that. I don't know why I'm apologizing. Like, what? W what? Anyway, here's what I'm wearing. I think I've worn this probably like 25 times already, but honestly, Anna Wintour said that it was okay to rewear outfits and if, if she says it's okay, then, then, I, I, then I think it's okay. This is the bag that I'm wearing with this. I don't really know if it matches the vibe, but like honestly, I don't even care at this point. Um, anyway, I'm gonna meet up with Amanda now because we're gonna go over the photos that we took yesterday at this cafe called Mamo, which is like a French restaurant. Um, I don't know, I still have not eaten breakfast. At this point, it's just lunch because it's 1.30, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch. Guess who I'm with? Good morning, bitch. It's 2 p.m. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just woke up. Don't call me. I think everyone had a very intense night last night because when I went on the elevator to go downstairs, like two people in the elevator, they were like, last night was rough. Like, I think everyone just went all out last night. Everyone is hungover. Yeah, very bad. Nice. Yeah, we are going through the photos. 
<laughs> you look like a bitch. <laughs> I ordered like this breakfast bowl situation. I don't know. I'm so hungry. Look at my hand. <laughs> Here's my breakfast bowl. Here's my buttered toast. And here's you. Here's me. And here's me. And here's a man. <laughs> and here's my coffee. Amanda's coffee. You. New York. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat. Hey. I just got off the subway and I'm walking to the like shoot location. It's like a eight minute walk, so I'm pretty close to it, which is nice. And that was my first time riding the subway alone. Actually, no, that was my second time. But the first time I went, I only was on it for like one stop, so it wasn't like really a ride. It was like two minutes. The coffee I drank this morning made me so jittery, and I'm not used to this feeling at all. So I have like a lot of energy, but I'm also like kind of tired, and I really need to use the bathroom. So hopefully they have one there. Because if they don't, that will be bad. Okay, right, I have one more block to walk, and then I'll be there. We're at the shoot location. I just changed into my comfy ass set, and we're gonna take some photos. This is the second set. It's like this really nice aqua. Is this aqua? Sage. Sage. Yes. Nice sage green. I love it. We just wrapped up the shoe and now I think we're gonna go eat. Post shoot meal. Yeah. We came to this sushi restaurant called Bondi Sushi. We're all dining. I'm gonna get the spicy tuna hand roll and then spicy tuna crispy rice. My crispy rice, I kinda ate my hand roll already. Oops. <laughs> Back in my dorm, we ate dinner and then Stephanie dropped me off at my place. I wanna show you guys all the sets that I got because seriously, they are the cutest and the most comfortable sets I've ever put on. They're so fucking nice. A huge shout out to Stephanie and the Happy Camper. They're literally the sweetest people. I'm so glad I met them and I'm so glad like I could go on this photo shoot with them, but I want to show you all the sets because they're so cute and get some snacks because it's gonna be a long haul. We have this really nice like orange, I want to say like an October orange and it says the happy camper. It's just like this matching hoodie. This is like slightly cropped, which I really like. Once New York starts getting a little bit colder, they're gonna be so nice. Same set just in this really nice maroon or like I want to say burgundy color matching hoodie this is probably my favorite color out of all of them it's this wonderful olive green I love it so much matching sweatpants this one is a little bit different it's like this marble gray I want to say and then on it, it says love is beautiful in the rainbow coloring and it's just so comfortable and so soft and then this is like a crew neck top for it this is their gratitude collection sand like dark sand camel i don't know but on it it says we are doing our part to raise awareness for mental health thank you for joining us on this journey and then the back again says the happy camper this hoodie is a little bit more um i don't want to say oversized but it's not cropped like the other ones on the bottom of the sweatpants it says the same thing as the hoodie one more guys this is also one of my favorites oh, i love all of them they're all my favorites but this is a black set and then on it says tell someone you love them today and then the sweats say the same thing that is my comfortable clothing haul i am so excited to wear all of these i i'm just waiting you know i'm just waiting for it to get a little bit colder it is around like six i think it's like six six thirty i still have like a tiny bit of homework that i might just want to catch up on so that's what I think I'm gonna do for like now. I don't, I know I have a no homework policy in my room, but I really don't feel like going out or like just even going to the library because I've been out all day. I kind of just want to be home. Um, so I think, I think I might just do that. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm like doing something interesting because I think I'm just gonna go on my phone for a bit. I'm pretty pooped, so I just want to relax. Zoe and I are at the lounge doing homework yet again. I got cookies. <laughs>
After doing homework, I came back to my dorm and watched some Sex in the City. And then this is me saying goodnight to you guys, but I couldn't actually talk. So here I am recording a voiceover, but I love you and I will see you next week. Bye!